Hello everyone, in this video let us discuss how to write an algorithm. So let us discuss how to write an algorithm. In this video we are going to discuss what is an algorithm, how to write an al algorithm, we will discuss how to write an algorithm to multiply two numbers and then we will discuss how to write uh, an algorithm to swap two numbers. So what is an algorithm? Well, algorithm is uh, nothing but a series of steps that perform a particular computation or task. And to give you this uh, example of how to write an algorithm to make a T, you can simply write this uh, series of steps like you can put the tea bag in a cup, you can then fill the kettle with water, then you can boil the water, then you can uh, pour some of the boiled water into a cup, then you can add some milk, then you can add some sugar, then you can stir the tea and then you can finally drink the tea. So as you can see here, to write a simple algorithm for making a tea, it is nothing but a series of uh, statements that can be written in simple plain language. So how to write an algorithm? Well, the good news is that the good news is that there is no standard way to write an algorithm. As long as you have a problem that is well defined and your steps should be easy to not only understand but also to explain it to someone else. And when you're writing an algorithm, just try to use some common programming terminologies like variables, loops and functions. So anyone who is uh, familiar with uh, these uh, programming terminologies can understand your algorithm and try to make your algorithm that can be understood even if it is written in plain simple uh, language. So let us see how we can write an algorithm to multiply two numbers. So when you have to multiply two numbers, we have, uh, let us say, two inputs, A and B, which are nothing but uh, variables. So you would simply start your algorithms maybe by a begin statement or maybe you, you, you can use a bracket or a parenthesis and then simply define your uh, task or your computation. So in this case, uh, we are first multiplying A with B and then we are assigning that uh, multiplication result to a variable called C. And then you can finally close your uh, statement with uh, maybe a parenthesis or maybe you can use end statement. So let us see a similar example where we will write an algorithm to swap two numbers. So in this case, again, we have this uh, input, which is A and B, and we'll pass this input to a function or maybe our algorithm that is called as swap. And in this particular case, we'll again start our algorithm with uh, a parenthesis or maybe a begin statement. Then you will uh, use a temporary variable where you will uh, assign A to temp then you will assign B to A and finally you will assign the temporary variable where you have the value of A and you will assign it to your uh, B and then you will uh, finally use the parenthesis to close your function or you will simply write your end statement. So this is, this is one way of using uh, or writing your algorithm but uh, in case you are not uh, comfortable with using equal to statement here uh, where we are basically using this uh, equal to sign here you can also use something like this which was used earlier and in some languages when you're doing some assignment you also need to use uh, this uh, colon and then equal to so this, so this is one more way of uh, of uh, signifying signifying that there is an assignment that is happening from one variable to another variable and also you can use something like this uh, so you can also use this arrow to signify that your a is assigned to temp then your b is assigned to a and finally your temp is assigned to b and finally you have your swap which is uh, now done using this algorithm so I hope this uh, video was useful. Thank you very much.